Hello everybody, my name is David. Thank you for watching Crazy Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. Today's video is called Projection. Very, very important to understand what that is when you're in a relationship with a narcissist and then after a relationship is over, you can go back and, and realize what the hell was going on. What this person was actually doing to you when they never admitted wrong and they blamed you for everything and they told you you did things, you're just like, fuck, I didn't do that. Uh, no, that was you. That's what projection is. So. Before I tell you exactly what it's like and what the name is, means and what it came from, this is all a problem with shame. So briefly, let me tell you about shame. Shame are, is, is not just a feeling. It is something we can identify with. It, it becomes who we think we are. So when your father or your mother said something to you, something hurtful and said you're bad in this way or you're not good enough, you, you suck, you're stupid, you're any of these things, that causes shame. And it's different than just someone doing something bad to you or it's different than you just doing something bad. It is you believe you're a bad person and nobody on this planet wants to be a bad person. So even people that do bad things all day and every day, they deny it and say it was your fault and all this just to not be a bad person. So, how we deal with shame, and I talked about this in the last Q&A video, and I also have another video titled Shame, and I'll put it up there for you guys to go watch, and you should. It's a really, really important video to understand about yourselves. It helps with your own self-awareness. Most everybody has some sort of shame in their life. It all depends how you deal with it. So, we naturally believe that shame makes us feel unworthy of things, unworthy of things that other people have in their life. We believe we aren't worthy, worth it. Um, and it, and it, basically, everybody in this world is equal, okay? We are all different, but we are all equal. And shame makes us feel less than equal, under equal, okay? And we go through life not feeling worthy of putting up things like boundaries and telling people, hey, you don't do that. That makes me feel bad, uncomfortable. That hurt me. Um, it makes us not do that. Them, narcissist, shame makes them say, I have to be better than everybody else. It's the super low self-esteem, but I'm going to project that I have the biggest self-esteem so that I attract people. So that people accept me and they like me and they want to be envied. Narcissists want to be envied, okay? They want to be envied while they actually envy and, and jealous of other people. But what happens is they try to be better than everybody else. So they cannot be wrong, ever. They can't deal with that. We are very okay with being wrong. I mean, it's like, yeah, oh, we fucked up again. Oh, well, I was wrong. Oh, I'll fix that shit. I suck. You know, I suck at this. I suck at that. Life sucks. I mean, that's, that's normal attitude for normal people that have shame. Them, it's, no, I'm better than this. I'm better than you. I'm better. Don't you fucking tell me I'm wrong ever. I'm never wrong. It's always your fault. Blah, 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 blah. So it, this is about shame. And what they do is deny everything, right? They can't be wrong or all this shame they have surfaces. And now they identify with, I'm a t horrible fucking piece of shit. Okay, they, they will. And so they won't. they won't. They won't ever accept any responsibility. Never done anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with me at all. I am so fucking perfect. I've never fucked up on anything. I've never done anything wrong. I've never made a mistake. Nope, 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 never. Because they can't. They can't afford to do it once. Or now they're right back in their shame. They don't know how to deal with it. We can deal with it. They cannot. So projection came from actually projecting something onto someone else. So imagine someone with a movie projector, you know, like an old movie projector with the light and it shines the light on the wall and you watch the film. Imagine them, imagine a narcissist with a projector, you know, everything you tell them is in this movie and then they project it and they shine it right back on you and now it's on you and now that's who you are. That's kind of a way to explain it. It's projecting what they are being accused of back on to you or to somebody else. So, and what the best way to identify or find out what your narcissist is doing wrong is what they accuse you of. So, thieves, 
accuse people of stealing, don't they? I don't, I don't steal. So, and I know most of you or all of you don't steal. Therefore, we don't think about it. We don't think like a thief. We aren't worried about it. It's not in our lives. So we don't accuse people of stealing. They do. Thieves accuse people of stealing. People that lie accuse people of lying. We don't accuse people of lying all the time, do we? Because we don't lie. We aren't liars. It's not a part of our life. We don't think about it. It's not an option. So we don't constantly think everyone's fucking lying. You know, we don't say you're lying, you're lying, you're lying. Now, these people will constantly accuse you of what they do. So they go out and cheat on you and they leave you at home for hours. They don't know what they, you've been doing because they haven't talked to you or whatever. They've been screwing someone else for hours. They come home. They instantly are paranoid and think that you were too. <laughs> and they say, yo, you're cheating. You're cheating on me, aren't you? I know you are. You must be cheating. Because they're fucking paranoid. Because they're cheaters. You know? So they, they think you're lying. They'll accuse you of lying. And they'll basically, not basically, they will say everything they do. They do this and this and this and this and this. So they say, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that, you do this. If you accuse them of something, they say, I didn't do it. Or I did it because you made me. You know, it's just they will take shift all responsibility. They will never take it. And they always want you to be the bad guy. If you're the bad guy, they're the good guy. Okay? Now, this, all of this should help you guys realize what they're thinking. What goes on in their brain. Because a lot of the questions you guys have for me is, are they aware of what's going on? Do they know what they're doing is bad? You know, do they have remorse? Do they have guilt? Do they, all these things about how they abused you. Are they aware of it? A lot of people think that narcissists just go through their lives not totally unaware of what they're doing. You know, no, I don't know. They're so fucked up. They're just doing stuff, but they don't even realize. No, no. They know what they're doing. And this is proof. They know it's wrong what they're doing. This is proof. Why? Because before you even say anything, they'll accuse you of it. Okay, if they didn't care about right or wrong, they would just go about their lives being wrong all the time, right? And, and hurting you and saying, yeah, I fucking hurt you, fuck, who cares? They have to live through in society, right? They have to get what they need as well. So they will just deny, they, they will abuse and then they have to die. They'll never admit it because that brings them back to their shame. That makes them sh a shameful, bad person. No one wants to be a bad person. Um, so this should help you that they're totally aware of what they're doing because they're fucking, they're out there cheating and they're accusing you of cheating and shit like that. They know they're cheating. The hell? They know they're lying to you. That's why they don't come clean. That's why they tell other people, my ex cheats on me, my ex hits me. When they hit and cheat on you, they hit you and they cheat on you. They'll tell other people that you do it. My ex cheats on me, lies to me and hits me. And you don't do any of those things. But they do it all to you. Projection. They're projecting it onto you. And they can do that with other people or they'll do that directly to you. Just right back at you. It's crazy shit. Um, you guys just remember that people need to take responsibility. And if somebody hurts you, all that matters is they should be making you feel better. It's not about the responsibility. It's not about, oh, did I, you know, I don't think it's that bad. I don't think it, it shouldn't hurt you. It wouldn't hurt me. You know, it's not, none of that shit. Or it's just not my fault. I didn't do it. You did it. That kind of shit does not fly. You never let somebody do that to you. Ever. Ever. It's basically someone hurts you, you address it. They don't make you feel better about it. You tell them to go fuck themselves. They still don't care. Fuck off. You know what I mean? There's, it's just got to be like that. If you want to get rid of narcissists out of your life, you don't want to date them again. When somebody hurts you, you address it. Because you are worth it. You are worth it. You are worth it. You not. You are not. Nobody should treat you bad. You're not worth that. And when someone does, you are worth bringing it up and saying something and saying you cannot treat me that way. That hurt me. And if somebody hurt you, they should just do more than say sorry. They should tell you what they're sorry for. They should try to make you feel better. That's all that matters. It's just making you feel better. If somebody says I hurt them, I don't get defensive right away. Why? Why? I didn't do it. I didn't do nothing. You know? I say who cares? Just say you're fucking sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you. What can I do to make, help you feel better, you know? Like, fuck. So, projection is shame-based. 
They don't want to touch on their shame, so they'll never take any responsibility. It's like a movie projector. They shine it right back on you. Uh, and they, you can tell what they're doing by what they project onto you. That's probably what they're doing. And this should be proof that not only are they aware of what they're doing, but they know it is wrong. They just don't care. Okay? I hope this helps all of you. Any questions you have, go down and ask me in the comment section and I'll answer them, okay? Okay, guys, thank you very much. Love yourself first. Take care. Bye-bye. Danny Dog Productions.